Mississauga Creates. I'm your host, Angela Chow, and weekly I will be interviewing a series of creatives showcasing the amazing talent in my hometown, Mississauga. Today we are joined by Amy Danino, a music therapist. I'm excited to chat with her and talk more about the benefits of music on mental well being. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your practice. My name is Amy Danino. I am a registered music psychotherapist, musician, and conductor. And my private practice is Add Music Wellness, and we serve the Greater Toronto and Cambridge, Kitchener, Waterloo, Hamilton area, and beyond. And we are working with a variety of different populations, providing music therapy and various music wellness services. Tell me, what is music therapy? Well, if I give you the definition as described by our, our, our Canadian Association of Music Therapy, uh, it is a, a discipline in which credentialed professionals, which we are called MTAs, uses music purposefully within therapeutic relationships to support development, health, and well-being. Music therapists use music safely and ethically to address human needs within cognitive, communicative, emotional, musical, physical, social, and spiritual domains. Who requires music therapy? I would like to maybe just rephrase instead of required, we could say who benefits from music therapy, and I would say everyone. Uh, it is a modality that is uh, not only effective, um, that is proven through research, and it is an evidence-based approach, but we also have the element of fun and motivation that music adds, which is not often found in other types of therapies, such as uh, talk therapy. Uh, music has that sort of extra element added. Does music boost your mental performance? Our goals in music therapy are actually non-musical, so we're looking at um, helping people in other ways and other areas of their life, but specific for actual um, benefits of music, if you're a musician, absolutely, and overall music is, is beneficial to anyone and everyone because of the fact that it activates both sides of the brain, and that is probably the most important detail, whether it's someone who's engaged in a music therapy session or someone who's learning an instrument um, or even listening to music. Can music improve cognitive performance? It can improve cognitive cognition. It is something that we we uh, have as a goal area in music therapy. And when we're talking about improvement, again, it, it would be the idea of the fact that uh, active and passive music participation activates both sides of the brain. So therefore, right away, there's there's um, attention to cognition. And of course, if there's a, a specific goal area in mind, then the likelihood is is that with effective interventions, that new pathways can be created and uh, that can allow for improvement or further development in cognition. Many of us are suffering from insomnia and we're just glued to the TV. What are the benefits of music in the evening? Music uh, certainly can be useful in terms of decreasing um, brainwave um, activity to help you to calm. Um, of course, because it's a, an oral sensation or an oral um, input that you're receiving, uh, often the visual is something that uh, can interfere with things like melatonin and helping to fall asleep. Whereas obviously, if there's no visual, but it's a, an auditory stimulation, then that wouldn't be a factor anymore. And of course, we th um, one of the major um, sort of aspects that we consider in music therapy sessions is the importance of preferred music, so client preferred music. And I think at night, that is something that can become very important where you're you choosing music that not only perhaps is, you know, slower in tempo, maybe not as dramatic in sort of dynamics, louds and softs, but of course, music that is... Uh, in, you know that you like that might even have a, an association to a memory that might be a relaxing memory so maybe it's a, a song you listen to on a vacation and that can help you to not only relax just through the entrainment of the beat but it could also help you to relax because it's putting your mind in a different place what are the potential benefits of music on mental well-being 
Um, it, I, I think that there's a lot of different ways that men, music can benefit our mental health. Um, you know, if we think about mental health as being something that, that we want to um, sort of improve or uh, sort of maintain, just like our physical health, right? We talk about, you know, we might go to the gym or we might walk and that's important to keep our physical health in a sort of, uh, you know, in a shape, let's say we want to say in good shape is what we say. Um, but if we think about that in our mental health is really no different right and and so we in some ways we need to be actively keeping our mental health in shape just like we actively keep our bodies in shape so using music actively to help with your mental health and to keep your mental health in a state that is where you want it to be again is something that you can do on your own but often can be something that can be really uh, enhanced by having sessions with a music therapist who has that ability to help you even further with their training to use music more effectively. If you're part of any initiatives right now during the pandemic. I've created uh, my, my private practice. We've created a, a program that's specific for the COVID-19 pandemic. It's called Relate in Rhythm. And you can visit relateinrhythm.com or you can send an email to relateinrhythm at gmail.com. And the program is designed for um, bringing people together to interact and to provide and teach new coping skills and ways to help your thoughts and behaviors to be a little more conducive to a positive state when we're all very much um, separated and isolating and not able to connect. So the program is designed to have uh, six people in the program at, uh, for a one hour session. And so not only are you connecting with other people, but you're interacting making music actively, also interacting with music in a passive way. And we provide you with uh, potential coping skills for you to use uh, with music and without in the future to be able to, again, support the needs and support what you are going through because this is, this is something we're all going through, but we're all going through it individually and everyone's circumstances and situations are different. And so this program recognizes that we can bring people together. This, this allows anyone in the world to participate in these and using music as that medium or that sort of um, gathering together point, which of course, even, even all around the world, we can all gather together to discuss and participate in music. And uh, the sessions we've had so far have been very successful and we've had a lot of positive feedback from people who have felt that it's been very beneficial for them and that they have been able to apply some of the skills moving forward. And we've even had people who have returned for uh, subsequent sessions because of the nature of it, no two sessions are the same. So uh, we are able to uh, allow people to continue to participate again and again, and they still are receiving and gaining new information and coping skills. And we've made it super affordable, knowing that finances right now for a lot of people are, are uh, very much um, potentially in a challenging situation. So we're only charging $15 per person for this one hour session and you do get a PDF takeaway as well at the end. So it's a, it's a very value uh, oriented program as well. Where can we find you online and find more about music therapy? You can go to addmusicwellness.com. You can go to Add Music Wellness on Facebook, as well as LinkedIn. And if you're looking for specific information about our program, that is the COVID-19 specific program, you can go to relateinrhythm.com. My name is Amy Danino. I am the leading lady of Add Music Wellness, a private practice for music therapy and music wellness. And we, as our team, want to encourage you to continue to use music in your lives as uh, however you can see fit and if you are interested in learning more about how you can use music in a more purposeful way please do reach out and allow us to help you in these challenging times tune in tune up stay connected with music so we were just chatting with amy danino a music therapist about the benefits of music on your mental health I'm Angela Chow, your host on Mississauga Create, and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe below. See you next time.